Yeah, what I love about having the wall, the design wall on this particular wall is that it creates kind of like a rotating gallery in the apartment. So like no matter what project I'm working on, it's here, you can see it. So is this your current project? No, no, this is actually my burial quilt. I'm gonna tell you more about it. So the sewing machine that I use for almost all of my work was a gift to me from my grandma, who was 105 years old, still alive, still kicking it, living with my mom down in North Carolina. And one of the last things she would have made on this machine would have been the early 80s, making kids clothes for me and my brothers. In this machine, there's enough of the fancy stitches and things like that that one wants when you're making clothes, but all the parts are still metal and it's just this durable workhorse of a machine, no plastic parts, no computer chips. I can do repair on my own on this machine. So I really appreciate that. It's something I've been thinking about for a while, the idea of a burial quilt. Because I remember hearing on NPR years ago, I mean, I was probably in college, about this woman who, who passed away. And according to her last wishes, her friends took the quilt off her bed, wrapped up her body, put her in the back of the pickup truck. They drove out to the woods and buried her there. And there was just something about the fact of being wrapped up in something that's you know, soft and colorful, like a quilt. So this is a funeral quilt. So what you see here is the bottom half of the quilt. It's cool, right? What you see here is the bottom half of the quilt. The top half looks exactly the same. So it has this giant universal plus sign in the middle. This lady reached out to me, a doula from West Virginia. And she says, I want a quilt that I can use in the funeral, in the ceremony. And then I want to go to my children after the ceremony. I'm like, cool, got you. I said, how many kids do you have? She says two. I said, how are you going to give one quilt to two people? She's like, well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm like, well, what if I could devise a way to make a modular quilt so that during life, while you're using it, is one quilt on your bed, but then when the time comes, you can separate it and each kid gets half of it. In these bags are memory quilts to be. And so right now, for example, I'm working on this one. The woman I'm making this for started making this quilt 20 years ago with her own mom and wasn't able to finish. And so I'm taking the, the squares that they had cut out, assembling them together, and then I'm gonna hand tie them, which I just love that like, you know, late 70s, early 80s vibe. This one I'm really excited about. This is for a lady whose husband passed away. I've got three dozen swimsuits. How memory shakes down over time, oftentimes, is that we do remember the best parts of a person. And we let kind of slide away the tougher parts. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's pillowcases from their bed. There's seersucker shirts from, from Teddy's dad. There's a nightie she would wear, napkins from their wedding. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I'll show you something cool though I did with this quilt that I'm really glad I did. Because this fabric came from so many different places, I made a secret key on the back. So I think one thing that's really important when it comes to memory quilts is their symbolic value. I feel like in, in mo the modern times in which we live, when fewer and fewer people are finding those religious symbols to be the nourishment that they once were, then it's important that we <laughs> find or create our own symbols. And for me, patchwork quilt is one of the finest. They take a time of great unknowns and give you one thing you do know, right? I know that come the day, my body, God will, and will be wrapped up in this quilt. And until that day, I will be living in this quilt. I will be talking this quilt. I'll be telling stories of this quilt. And it allows me to interact with my own last day in a way that's friendly, in a way that um, 
doesn't feel so fearful. Cause I got a lot of living left to do between now and then.